In this short video, you will learn why your concrete surface has spalling, pitting, or surface failure. Concrete contains cement, sand, aggregate, and water. When you add water to this mix, you need to have the exact amount of water to chemically react with the sand. If you have too little water or too much water, your mix becomes flawed. Surface fillers are caused by too much water added to the mix design at the batch plant, during the concrete placement, by the concrete finisher, or even by rainfall, which all weaken the concrete permitting failures. Excessive amounts of water can be added several ways, especially on hot days. The batch plant sand and stone piles become hot and suck up the mixed design mixture water, and the batch plant operator forgets to test the moisture content of the hot sand and stone and does not compensate by changing the mix design. This causes early set or premature hardening, which is compensated by adding more water to the delivery truck. The proper way to solve hot day problems is use ice in the mix or use concrete additives like super plasticizers or concrete retarders. Sometimes it takes too long to discharge the concrete or the batch plant is too far away. When this happens, the concrete starts to get hard or set up in the truck and more water is added to the concrete to make it more flowable during discharge. If the soil below the concrete is not moist, then the earth and stone subgrade suck the water right out of the concrete, causing it to harden too quickly. If the contractor does not spray a layer of curing compound immediately after concrete hardens, then the water evaporates out too quickly, especially on hot or windy days. You need the exact amount of water and you want it in the concrete so it cures and gets strong within 28 days. The most common failure is when the contractor does not have enough men on the job. You add in some sun, some wind, and long placement times, the concrete gets hard too fast. So then, the finisher splashes water on the surface, making it easier to finish. If it rains and the concrete is not covered, too much water gets into the surface. Or if the truck driver did not empty his truck from his 30 gallons of wash water in his drum from his last job, you have too much water in the mix. Additionally, during the winter, if the concrete is not heated, covered, or protected, it freezes. Finally, exterior concrete must have air entrainment chemicals. You want 6% air added to the mix design. So when the concrete or rain water freezes during the winter, it has somewhere to go. All these problems cause the concrete to have too much water, too little water, or not enough air entrainment. So when the contractor blames the road salt for the premature concrete failure, he or she is lying. The salt has nothing to do with these failures unless the concrete has rebar, and that's why we use epoxy coated rebar. If you have any house problems with stains, moisture, old, noise, cracks, material failures, structurals, or any other house problems that you would like solved, you can Google. Call Marco with a question. That's Marco with a K, not a C. A small $29 fee will apply. Thank you. This is Marco Vogt from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please rate and subscribe.